Imagine stepping onto the largest and most luxurious ship the world had ever seen. The Titanic was more than just a ship, a symbol of human achievement, considered unsinkable, but was it? Welcome aboard the RMS Titanic, an engineering marvel that set sail on April 10th, 1912. At 882 feet long, it was the largest man-made moving object on Earth. Built to carry over 2,200 passengers, the Titanic was divided by class, with the wealthiest enjoying opulent suites while immigrants seeking a new life in America filled the lower decks. But it wasn't just about luxury. The ship had advanced safety features like 16 watertight compartments, so people believed it was unsinkable. The world watched in awe as it left Southampton, bound for New York. Little did they know this maiden voyage would also be its last. Luxury, safety and size defined the Titanic. But what made this ship so impressive? And why did those very features fail to save her from disaster? The Titanic wasn't just big. It was a floating palace. It redefined luxury travel with nine decks and amenities like a swimming pool, squash courts, and even a Turkish bath. First-class passengers dined in style, enjoying gourmet meals in the lavish dining room, while second- and third-class passengers had their own separate spaces, though still impressive for the time. The ship's strength lay below deck, however, in its innovative design. Sixteen watertight compartments designed to keep the ship afloat, even if several were breached. But here's the problem. The compartments weren't completely sealed off from one another. So when the iceberg struck, water spilt over like a domino effect, sealing the ship's fate. April 14th, 1912, 11.40 p.m., a calm, moonless night in the North Atlantic. Suddenly, the lookout yells, iceberg, right ahead. In just seconds, the fate of the Titanic was sealed. On that cold night, the Titanic was cruising at almost full speed through an area known to have icebergs. Despite receiving iceberg warnings, the ship continued onward. At 11.40 p.m., the lookout spotted an iceberg directly ahead. Attempts were made to turn, but it was too late. The ship's starboard side scraped the iceberg, creating a gash nearly 300 feet long. While the damage seemed minimal initially, water quickly flooded five of the ship's watertight compartments. The design flaw became deadly. Once four compartments were flooded, the weight would pull the bow down, tipping the entire ship. The unsinkable was now sinking. Imagine standing on deck as the Titanic, a ship once thought invincible, slowly vanishes beneath your feet. The sea rises fast, lifeboats are scarce, and panic sets in. After striking the iceberg, it took just over two and a half hours for the Titanic to sink. At first, many passengers didn't believe the ship was in danger, but as the bow dipped lower into the sea, the reality hit. Panic ensued. The Titanic had only 20 lifeboats, enough for about half the passengers. Worse still, many were launched only half full in the confusion. Women and children were given priority, but third-class passengers had limited access to the upper decks, sealing their fate. As the ship's sad stern lifted high, it broke apart, plunging into the freezing Atlantic. By 2.20 a.m., it was gone, taking over 1,800 souls with it. Only 710 people survived the Titanic disaster. What went so wrong? And how did this tragedy change the future of maritime travel forever? The sinking of the Titanic sent shockwaves around the world. Of the 2,224 passengers and crew aboard, only 710 survived. Mostly women 
and children from first class. The disaster highlighted glaring issues, notably the lack of lifeboats and poor safety protocols. The ship's wireless operators had ignored iceberg warnings and had no proper evacuation plan. In response, the world saw sweeping changes in maritime law. The International Ice Patrol was established to monitor the seas for icebergs, and new regulations required lifeboats for every passenger, mandatory lifeboat drills and continuous radio communications on all ships. The Titanic's legacy is a loss, but also marked a turning point in maritime safety. From films to books, the Titanic has become a legend. But did you know that its legacy lives on in ways that go beyond the silver screen? Let's dive into how this disaster reshaped the world. More than a century after it sank, the Titanic remains one of the most famous ships in history. Its story has been retold in movies, documentaries and books, capturing the public's imagination like no other disaster. But the Titanic's legacy isn't just cultural, it's practical. The tragedy led to the SOLAS, Safety of Life at Sea Convention, which improved lifeboat requirements, communication protocols, and iceberg monitoring. Today, the wreck of the Titanic, discovered in 1985, sits nearly 12,500 feet below the ocean's surface, offering a chilling reminder of the hubris that led to its downfall. The Titanic may have sunk, but its impact on maritime safety remains unsinkable. Did the Titanic sink or swap with its sister ship? Was there a cursed mummy aboard? Conspiracy theories about the Titanic are just as legendary as the ship itself. Over the years, the mystery of the Titanic has spawned countless conspiracy theories. Some believe the ship was swapped with its sister ship, the Olympic, as part of an insurance scam. Others claim that a cursed Egyptian mummy was aboard, dooming the ship from the start. But beyond the theories, real discoveries have continued to emerge. In 1985, Dr. Robert Ballard and his team discovered the wreck, finally restating some of the mysteries. The ship sits in two main pieces on the ocean floor, surrounded by artifacts that tell the story of that fateful night. While many myths may never be proven, the Titanic's final resting place serves as a reminder of the true scale of the disaster.